I started really intensively in 1997, 10 years ago. When I was a kid, I used to invite people to come over to the backyard and look at the moon eclipses and, and things. But right out on the street, uh, 1997, I decided to take my big scope down the corner and just see what would happen. I charged a, a nickel. Yeah. And had such a great response that I started a club at school, Sidewalk Astronomy Club, with all my students, and been doing it ever since. We're over a hundred times out on the street now. You come out in the summer? Yeah, usually when it's warm, uh, first, around first quarter moon. I had about over $2,000 of donations so far. A lot of it I give to the uh, International Dark Sky Association. For what is that? What is the International Dark Skies Association? What is it? It's an organization that is trying to uh, improve nighttime lighting. Uh, nighttime lighting is so obtrusive, it's wa wasted light, glare in your eyes so you can't see very well to drive, and trespass, it shines in your window at night when you're trying to sleep or up into the sky and it wipes out the stars. It wastes about $2 billion of energy per year across the United States. And the solution is just putting a shade on the light and then using a lower wattage light bulb to get the same brightness, keep that light going down instead of up and sideways. So we can see the stars. Yeah, that's one of the benefits, seeing the stars, saving energy, reducing greenhouse gases, and uh, stopping glare. You can see these lights have no shades on them. They're very, really, very really bad. Yeah. Right here. This, this guy. Why do you do this? Why do you come out to the sidewalk? Well, I love astronomy so much. Uh, it's, it's been so great to my life. It has led me to my life that I want to share share that, give back to that, and share with other people, and hopefully, especially get some kids interested in astronomy. And it led to my job of being a teacher and just um, a wonderful um, experience of knowing about the universe. They say that life is the universe's way of knowing itself. So we're sort of the universe's way of figuring out what the universe is. 